Nitirandam, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Parmashivam. Yes, I know it has been a while. I have not made a video for quite some time now, but uh, here I am again, again sharing uh, powerful cognitions. I'm going to share something with you. And uh, actually, last few weeks, um, I kind of jumped into a few different things. One of them was learning how to make instrumentals for music, so how to uh, use the software and all that. So, and uh, so I, I I was focusing a lot on music in the last last weeks, last few weeks. Uh, but everything everything turned out great. So uh, that's a great thing. So um, I actually I'm uploading the songs on a channel called Nityananda Media House in Kailash. I'll put the link in the description below. So please check it out, subscribe, link, uh, not link, but subscribe, like the videos there and uh, click the bell icon as well. So whenever uh, we upload something there, then you can check it out. So I'll upload more of the um, creative stuff on that. And here I'll just you keep it to uh, my personal experiences and sharings and my experience with uh, the teachings of Swamiji and, um, and how I experienced them in my life. So uh, that being said, so yes, it's been a while. So now uh, here I am back again. So that's great. Um, I did release a few songs in the last uh, few weeks as well on that channel, Nityananda Media House in Kailash again. So uh, go check it out. Uh, some of them I'm going to redo because I got um, some uh, interesting equipment which allows to uh, record vocals in a better way. So uh, that I just recently got, so I'm kind of reworking on some things and kind of discovering as well the process of... Um, I mean, I've discovered quite a lot in the last few weeks regarding how to produce music. So I'm still uh, going uh, learning in that. And at the same time, I jumped into making instrumentals, so that, that was great. And... Um, one thing I can share before I go into what I want to share in this video with you today. Swanji was said something in the past. He was saying, whatever you do, if you remain creative, you will never do something wrong. So if you have a doubt about anything in life, keep creating. Be in the space of creation. When you're in the space of creation, he said, you can never harm things around you. You can never harm people around you. You can, you can never do wrong. And one of the clicks and experiences I got about that is that in order to be creative, you have to remain um, unfrozen. What happens is when we have self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denials and incompletion, we tend to freeze ourselves in certain spaces. But if you constantly, in whatever dimension of your life, if you constantly keep creating in some dimension of your life, in order to, to create, you have to step out of that frozen space, uh, frozen kind of space. So always creating is, is one of the best way to constantly move yourself and not allow patterns to take over your life. So that was one of the main clicks I got when Swamji shared that. And recently Swamji also shared that. I'll share another video, but um, about Nataraja, how Nataraja does the cosmic blissful dance. And at some point, one of his anklet falls, but he does not stop the dance. Uh, for the anklet, even though he is a perfectionist. So that's another click I got and I will share about that in a future video. But in this video, I want to uh, share about a click I got uh, after Satsang Swamji gave quite some time now, quite some time back, I think maybe a month, two months, three months, maybe two months back. Um, he was talking about conclusions and cognitions. You should not operate from conclusions, you should operate from cognitions. And I can relate, uh, I can link that to what I was just sharing now with the space of creativity and not being frozen because my experience is when we operate from conclusions, we are frozen. The conclusion, because we're operating from by default a dualistic logic, because that's all we've been taught and that's all we've seen uh, in this era, uh, because of this dualistic logic, when we make a conclusion, there's no possibility of adapting. There's no that uh, kind of uh, that yielding component, this, this adapting component, being in the moment and adjusting as per what the moment requires. That dimension is 
dead basically when you are stuck in conclusions it's just yes or no yes or no and you're kind of in robot mode very much frozen uh which is very much not nice <laughs> very much not nice uh so sanji was saying don't operate from conclusions operate from cognitions uh so one of the clicks i got is like a conclusion is closed it's frozen a cognition is open it is supple it is uh you it can adapt to the reality in front of you. It has the directive. See, in a conclusion, you have a certain direction, which is very much important. But it is like a frozen direction, a direction when you cannot adjust, you have to walk straight. But the cognition is a direction, but you still have the capacity to flow in that direction. And, and from my experience, uh, I mean, that's what Swamiji shared, and that's also my experience. We have to operate from conclusions. When you operate from, uh, sorry, from cognitions. When you operate from cognitions, you will be able to remain in a space of completion, in a space of um, out of all these stress and all these kinds of states, which are uh, generated by conclusions, frozen. It's like life is presenting itself in front of us in a certain way, but we're stuck in our conclusion and we're banging against life and that creates all the problems we experience, whether it is mental problems or physical problems and everything. But if we have a cognition, we still know that we want to go in that direction, but as life presents itself, you learn how to navigate through it while remaining focused in your, on your goal, on your direction, in your direction. So that was a powerful cognition Swamiji shared and I wanted to share with you. Um, and of course, inviting you to uh, share if you had any clicks regarding this, if you remember Swamji saying that, and if you had any clicks, uh, write it in the comments below. Always appreciate it. I read all the comments. And, uh, and yes, inviting you to contemplate on that, conclusions versus cognitions, and how cognitions are the way to go, and conclusions are not the way to go, if we want to live a life which is uh, blissful. A good life. I mean, that's how I label a good life. A blissful life is a good life. So, uh, that being said, thank you for watching and uh, more videos are coming. Actually, in the one, few videos I posted, um, two, three videos back, I, I uh, during that uh, these few weeks also, I did a kind of a power manifestation, power manifestation detox. And I was basically, I'll share about that, but I was basically sitting all day and doing power manifestation. And that was pretty uh, intense experience and I'll share about that in another video. And I, I, I showed the footage of some of the power manifestation which was the coconut moving. And I, I'm going to make my experience kind of a short, I don't know if doc documentary is not really the right word, but some short video. I have a pretty, <laughs> pretty creative idea of how I want to present it. So uh, I will work on that very soon so you can expect that. And, uh, and I'll share more about also my experience of power manifestation uh, because power manifestation is very important. There's a reason why Swamiji is bringing this component back to life and why he's encouraging us to constantly focus in that direction. And uh, I'll share that in that video as well. So stay tuned for that. So subscribe so that you know whenever I post videos, uh, like, leave a comment below. And uh, yes, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. Nityananda.